Mahirani ki toku maunga, ko Ngaru Roro toku awa, ko Takitimu toku waka, ko Ngati Kaunganu toku iwi, ko Ngati Poporo toku hapu, ko Nokunoa toku marae, ko Waimarie Onekawa toku ingoa. I am a student studying at AUT at the Monaco campus. I'm studying midwifery. I'm currently in my second year. My motivation to become a health professional, it was largely motivated by my desire to help my own people. Seeing declining health statistics for Māori, it's something that I'd really like to be a part of being able to change. So yeah, that was a big motivation for me. Um, and I've always really loved being a part of women's lives when they're going through that change. You know, pregnancy is such a special time in a person's life, not only the woman's life, but their whanau. And getting to bring new life into the world, it's such a huge privilege. Uh, part of studying midwifery at AUT also means that you'll go on clinical placements. Um, and what you do on placement is that you will go out with midwives um, and you will follow them in their day-to-day -day work life and you'll learn how to be a midwife basically. It's a great way to start making networks with other midwives like the women from Tūruki. They also have a support network for student midwives, uh, Te Maunga Tāpohi, which is also really great and that also links in with other organisations like Nā Maya and Kia ora haura. Um, So study is a huge part of uni life obviously. Um, Personally, I like to be really organised. So when you start studying, I highly recommend finding out what type of learner you are, um, whether you learn by doing, whether you learn by repetition, visual, um, because it will really help you when it comes to your study and the way that you are able to learn and understand. I learn by repetition, so I type things and then I'll write them out, I'll draw pictures, um, the more I repeat the writing, the more it sinks in. I do have study groups with friends and when we get together we always have um, an objective and we try and keep the study group short because otherwise we end up getting distracted and talking. Also, as a part-time job, I am a tutor at um, AUT, so I just mentor first year and second year midwifery students. Um, and also first year general health students for their HAT papers. Life's not all about uni, it's really important I think to find balance. Um, I always make time for my family. Uh, the majority of my family live in Hawke's Bay, my mum and my brother live in Australia, um, so although I don't get to see them I've got extended family here. Um, I've got a couple of aunties, cousins, nieces and nephews um, and all my friends so I always make time for them. Obviously not much as I'd like to because I prioritise uni um, but yeah it's really important to find that work-life balance otherwise you'll, you'll be worn out, you'll be tired and then you'll, you won't um, study effectively. The key thing is that you have to focus on the end goal and keep reminding yourself why you got into this in the first place, why this was so important to you. And for me, I always remind myself um, what success looks like once I graduate. What am I aiming for? Um, yeah, I, I keep focusing on graduation, that's a big goal for me, um, and also being employed as a professional midwife later on. Um, making my family proud, that's a really big motivation. Kia ora, my name is Waimaria and I'm a midwifery student. If you're interested in becoming a midwife or any other health professional, do it. We all need to work together to create a workforce that supports the needs of our whanau. Kia ora, haora.